Well, hi there, I'm Mark Lama. And I'm Aaron Hiss. And look, between us, we've been working together as a team since uh, 2009 now. We bring to the table 24 years of real estate experience for our clients. And over that time frame, we've looked after over 2,000 clients selling a wide range of property in different price ranges, including units, townhouses, houses, all throughout Canberra. So Aaron, we've created this video to answer those commonly asked questions that most sellers need answers to before selecting an agent or a team to represent them. Well Aaron, this is a great question, isn't it? Probably one that the first that we get asked. And not an easy one to answer. There's actually a whole section in our website that we've created to try to look at the different things that are involved with pricing a property. Well, we take this part really seriously, Aaron, and one of the first things we're going to do is prepare a really detailed written market report. And that's going to look at the properties that are perhaps on the market right now that might be comparable. It's going to look at properties that have sold, maybe going back mm. six months or so, and even analyse some of those properties that didn't sell in the area recently. We then work through this market data with the seller so they can get a really good understanding of the value of the home and also find out if they should sell or if they should stay. And lastly, what methods for sale are working well in the area. Knowing what's sold in the area also enables us to educate buyers on values and it helps us build and protect the prices for our sellers. Sellers sometimes underestimate how long it takes to get to the market and what's involved. And we suggest the sellers take a little bit more time to make sure the home is looking absolutely beautiful because you only have one chance to make that first impression. And now that's why we love to meet sellers well in advance, many months sometimes. So we can actually work with them through that process of preparing the home and getting it ready for the market so we can help them add value. And we've spent a lot of time creating a detailed document which is maintaining your home for profit. This is a great tool that sellers can use as a tick box in terms of getting the home ready for the market. Well, when the property is on the market, Aaron, it's hard to know how long it might take to sell. Sometimes that's dictated by the method for sale. But the main thing is we're working not just for a quick deal, but to find the right buyer at the right price with all the right settlement terms that fit our sellers. And sometimes, Mark, we need to think outside the box for our sellers. Some people need a delayed settlement, 30, 60, 90 days. Some people need a fast settlement, and some people even need a rent back option. So we negotiate all of those things for our sellers. Now in the project management part of the pre-market phase is really important. There's a lot of work to be done. So we're helping organise quotes for uh, painters, maybe roof quotes, maybe landscaping needs to be organised. Uh, even furniture hire people, that's a big part of the business at the moment. And it's all about getting our properties looking absolutely great for the market. And the importance of doing these maintenance items can easily be tens of thousands of dollars for the sellers. And we're always happy to give our advice on where they should put their efforts. A lot of clients, of course, are time poor. They don't have the time to run around and get numerous quotes from trades and, and organise access and things like that. So it's a great part of the service that we provide within our team, and of course it's free. Look, a lot of people don't realise the huge array of tasks involved, both pre-market and while we're on the market. So we've created a document so our sellers can see each of those things that we're doing. And the reason we created this team of four is so that we can ensure all of those items get done effectively for every property and for every client. Well, communication is really important in this job. We get great feedback from buyers that on our internet advertising, there's two agents they can contact. We also have a team email set up so when they do send an inquiry, any one of us can respond to it immediately. Well, with four of us in the team, we can really take our service to another level. We can facilitate quick buyer showings, even within the day sometimes, and run multiple midweek showings on top of the standard weekend showings. A lot of sellers have also loved that there'll be two agents on the open homes, which gives a greater level of security and privacy for their homes. It also enables us to have more buyer interaction to talk about the features and benefits of their home, as well as discuss the offer process. Once we meet a buyer at the open home, if they're interested, we grab their email address, send them all that info, direct to their inbox. But another angle we've been using quite effectively that both buyers and sellers are loving are the video promotions of the properties. It allows us to give a really great walkthrough tour of the property and to tell them a little bit more, not just the home, but the whole location that the property sits within as well. And it's something a lot of agents aren't doing in Canberra, and it's a surprisingly cheap investment for the sellers. 
Look, people are selling for a whole wide range of reasons, but a lot of the time it can be quite stressful. There might be separations involved, um, people might have already purchased the property and really need, you know, keen to sell the current one. And it's very important that as the agent, we keep them very informed each step of the way. As our standard practice, after every single viewing or buyer showing, we're straight on the phone to the sellers to let them know who turned up and what interest we generated from that showing. And for those sellers that select auction, we have some really unique benefits to offer. One of the first things we did was create a document for the buyers, and this sort of helps them through the auction process and answers questions on the value of the home, how to finance it, and how to get ready and prepare to bid at auction. Keeping the buyers happy throughout this process is really important. If we collect more buyers together and get them there on the day of the auction, that's going to translate to more registered bidders and a higher price for our sellers on the day of auction. Well, a good auctioneer can make a big difference on the auction day, and we have an in-team auctioneer, being Mark. Makes a massive difference knowing the house, knowing the sellers, and more importantly, knowing the buyers. And that personal touch allows a better experience for all parties. We have also videoed a number of our auctions which are on our YouTube channel so sellers can get a really good feel of what we're doing on the auction day. And Mark, I think it's worth mentioning your recent award as the ACT Auctioneer of the Year, which really will give sellers some confidence of what our team can bring to the table. Well Mark, I think we both agree that this is one of the most important things that a seller should look for when choosing their agent or team and unfortunately it's not done as well as it should throughout the industry. Well that's right, you know sometimes we hear stories of agents running straight to a seller the moment they get an offer, but that's not really what a seller's employing their agent for. We spend a lot of time prior to an offer being presented to a seller to help work with the buyers, be it a first home buyer that might need a, an understanding of how to actually present an offer, through to an investor that might need a full financial analysis prior to the offer going to the sellers. And we're quite often working with multiple offers, um, discussing all kinds of things, including the settlement timeframes, finances, deposits, uh, any subject to terms. We want to get a, all of that information so our sellers can make an informed decision. And it's not just our team of four that are working for our clients, we're backed up by a team of 60 other salespeople spread right throughout Canberra and any one of those agents can bring an offer to the table for our clients. And Aaron, the other key to our negotiations is we're not just looking for one buyer, we're actually looking for multiple parties. Because if we have two or three groups that really love a property, they're inclined to pay between them a premium price and that's really what the seller should be employing us for. And I think it's not enough for an agent just to say that they are a good negotiator. As a standard, we provide proof of all the last 30 sales and the results that we've made for our clients. And we've collected a range of examples of properties that we've sold in this marketplace, the same as another agent, and been able to extract a much higher figure for our clients. I suppose that really shows how important it is to select the right agent for the job. And our trusting relationship is really important to us. Because with our clients, there are times we have to advise them when the right offer is available to accept, but plenty of times we advise them not to accept an offer and to stay on the market and keep working to find a higher price. Well, the costs associated with selling, there are certainly some upfront costs. In Canberra, you have to provide a marketing contract. So a solicitor needs to prepare that. And part of that marketing contract will be a building pest compliance and energy rating report. And again, that's something we organise and prepare for our clients. We don't have any upfront charges for the marketing and we'll specifically design a package uh, for our sellers depending on their budget and also the property. Well, commission's always one of those things that sellers want to talk about and we're more than happy to. Uh, great news, we're able to offer a range of different commission options and be very flexible with the structure, uh, whether it's a flat fee or a set percentage, depending on what the seller's after. And whatever method for sale that the owners choose, the fee is the same. We've actually set up a client payments account where we can make small payments for clients and recoup that at the end. We've also got great relationships with the solicitors, the furniture hire people and some of the trades people where we can defer payment until the property has settled at the end. Well hopefully you found this information useful to give you a few ideas about what's involved with selling a property, getting it ready for the market and most importantly what our team can bring to the table for you. 
We'd absolutely love to hear from you. Feel free to give us a call anytime at all, whether you're selling imminently or whether you're still a number of months away. I'm sure we can help you out.